the T-85 X-Wing. We heard about this ship all the way back in 2015, but we hadn't seen one until the first episode of Star Wars Resistance, and our first introduction wasn't just some passing flyby either. We really got to see this ship in action. And my first thought was, what does the T-85 really look like? because the visual world that the animated shows inhabit don't necessarily line up one-to-one -one with the literal truth. My curiosity was so strong that I buckled down and modeled one for myself basically the same day, and this is what I came up with. I started with pretty rigorously photo-matching screenshots of the episode, but I soon allowed myself some more leeway, but something that was still distinctly recognizable as the T-85 in the show. Now, there were some deficiencies that I thought the ship had, and I came up with solutions for each of those. For instance, I couldn't make out any proton torpedo tubes, so I sawed off the bulbous tip of this element and placed launchers in a trench on either side of the nose. Then I noticed that the nose was kind of taking on the qualities of a dog snout with a little bit of a snarl, so I kind of dug into that feel and added little details that reminded me of teeth, just for the subconscious reinforcement. I kind of like that canine look for the ship. Another issue I had with the ship is that there are literally no details whatsoever between the split engines. The T-70 has some awesome greeblies in there, and I thought I'd do something similar to bring that part of the ship to life. On the topic of wings, there's a feature of the T-85 that really does bug me, and that's the way that the wings are articulated. The wings of both the T-65 and the T-70 hinge from a single point in the center of the ship, and you can draw a line from the tip of one wing straight to the tip of the opposite wing. But on the T-85, the wings articulate from two separate points on either side of the fuselage, which kind of gives them this tacked-on look. And it's not like this design doesn't work mechanically, but I found it looked kind of goofy from the front the wings appear kind of misaligned. You don't get that clean line as before. Now that's all a matter of personal preference, but in my design, I made the wings hinge in the same manner as the T-65 and the T-70, so it's maybe less canonical, but at the same time, that's a slightly more complicated issue when we're talking about the cartoons. So, who knows if we'll ever officially see this ship rendered more realistically, but for now, I think I satiated my curiosity, and hopefully yours too. If you would like to view or download the 3D model, I've actually made it available on my Sketchfab to all of you who support me on Patreon. You all play such a huge role in the sustainability of this channel, and I can't thank you enough. And to the rest of you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.